states to KAA has denied allegations that the buses were imported into the country illegally. We have attached uh, all the import declaration documents uh, where we paid uh, VAT, IDF charges, railway development levy, which are quite high. Uh, the VAT on an apron bus alone uh, for the 2011 bus was almost 5 million and for the uh, 2014 buses was 7 million per piece. Few directors of relief and missions told Parliamentary Committee on Transport that KAA owes the company 43 million shillings in unpaid service fee. The company said that charging the airport authority 12 million shillings per month for the buses was guided by feasibility studies conducted by the company in major airports in Africa and Europe. Would you give us more information on the bill-ups that gave you the cost to raise from the 21 to the 42 million? This estimate of about 20, 210,000 euros could be about 21, 22 million shillings. But when you look at the costing of your bus, it's about 42 million. Would you maybe give us some more elements that build it up to 42 million? The, the purpose of it was to give us a picture of how much we will spend on the workshop. But I can tell you they were estimates. Yes. They were estimates, okay? And, and even if we go into reality, we don't see ourselves going lower than this. It might be maybe 5% lower or 5% higher. The contract between Relief and Mission Logistics and Kenya Airport Authority was supposed to run for eight years, beginning November last year, but it was terminated in April this year after President Uhuru Kenyatta ordered investigations into how the F5 buses were procured.